As you guys know, since we got the STI back, we have had a couple of issues with it. It was turning off on me randomly. We were running super rich. We had a check engine light with like seven codes, and then we had that whole rev hang issue. And Hector reached out to me. You guys don't know who Hector is, but you're about to meet him. He reached out to me and he said, hey dude, don't worry. All of these issues that you're experiencing right now, I've experienced on my car at some point. This dude builds like high horsepower Subarus, and he also works at the Subaru dealership, so he knows a lot about Subarus. And what he did was he sent me a list of everything that it could be that I could do myself. And if it wasn't any of those things, then I would bring the car to him and he would pretty much take care of everything. No more running rich, no more check engine lights, no more rev hang. Literally everything is fixed on the car. We're pulling up to his house right now and he's gonna go over everything that was wrong with the car and how he fixed it. You guys have no idea how excited I am to drive the Subi again, cause with all of these issues, I almost didn't wanna drive it. It was just super annoying to, but now that everything is fixed, I'm excited again. What's up Hector? Yo, what's up? How you doing? This is Hector everyone. <laughs> So what's up? There it is. <laughs> now don't ask me how I drove this because I don't fit. Uh, it's tight. I had to have, I had to have my, my boy drive it for me. I just like drive this for me. <laughs> no more AC. No more uh, big old fucking what's it called? The washer fluid. The washer fluid reservoir. I mean I will clean these up a lot more, but <laughs> later, later, later. Later on. Later. When for you're sure. ready, when you're ready. So I was telling Hector that. Uh, when I took the car to TNT, they got rid of the condenser and I yeah. forgot to ask for it. So I'm not running AC at the moment. I haven't been running it for the past five years. And if I do plan on running it, I still have everything. You have everything. So everything for now, <laughs> it just looks a little bit cleaner. I mean, if you want to leave that reservoir off, you could actually move this over here and have like, the gauge showing this way. Oh, okay. So, oh, shit. That would look... Yeah. 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 So yeah. do you want to kind of tell them what, <coughs> what happened? What you figured out? Because they know of all the issues. Yeah. I already made a video on that. All right, so as you guys can see, all the video, I mean, on that video, um, he was having cam, cam codes, pretty much. He was having running rich, all the no, the no start, or the, 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 the stubble, yeah. the, <laughs> the RPM, rev hang, and all that. So the first thing is first, just figure out the cam stuff, which is the most important stuff. Remember when you pulled up? When you pulled up, misfiring. <laughs> <laughs> sounded weird. So then I thought the timing was off, which was a little bit off. It's only because the belt, the belt was super stretched out, so you had to get a new belt in there, and they got the cams where it's supposed to be. Also, I checked the ABCSs, and they weren't opening. <laughs> Switched the ABCSs, and also we found the base map tune. I'm pretty sure it's the last tune here. Uh -huh. Whoever changed the base map turned those off, so that made it even worse. <laughs> oh, okay. So even when I put the new ones on, it was running a lot better, but they weren't, they weren't changing how they're supposed to. Um, so then we got a new base map, and then everything just Literally, it runs like a stock shoe. It? it runs like stock, so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it runs like it's supposed to be. But yeah, for the rev hang, we also found some uh, the bolts missing down here. Two bolts, I just so found those some. Two, right? Yeah, those yeah, two yeah. on both sides. So those huge, huge vacuum leak. That's what's also was getting the rev hang, just a bunch of air just getting sucked in. Okay. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, oh, also the fuel pump, there was two, two clamps, but there were not, one was on there, the other one wasn't. Okay. So I put two, two, two clamps on there just to kind of, and then they got rid of the um, the long start at, at right. the startup. So, yeah, because you, you, you were pretty much losing fuel pressure. It was yeah. going in and coming out. <laughs> and I thought, I, I told, <laughs> yeah, I told Hector. Like years ago, I had read about TGVs causing like a rough startup or whatever. And yeah. I thought it maybe could have been that when I first experienced it, but. I mean, if you had it with no tune, yes, it, mm -hmm. would, it would cause it because, you know, the TGVs kind of move. Um, but since technically you had a base map tune for it, What's it called? That uh, doesn't do that. Yeah, shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. I was getting ready to take the back seat out. I mean, the front seat and just ride it. Just ride in the seat. back seat. All right, here we go. First startup. It'll feel different right away as soon as I start it. Oh yeah, way different, dude. <laughs> right away. No check engine light. Hell yeah. Damn. Like, <laughs> he'll send it. <laughs> so this is Hector's STI. So the first time, I don't think I formally met you at Lake 2 I mean, you saw you got a clip of me. But I remember <laughs> I, I recorded you driving off. His car was gray at the time, had like crazy amount of camber. But this is it now. I have no wheels yet. No wheels. No Wide wheels. body though. <laughs> uh, dude, I remember I drove like that once on my flares, yeah. like with the BVSs, stock BVSs. Looks so, so funny. <laughs> You could uh, change all these ports to AN fittings. 
Oh, cleans up shit. the engine bay. That's sick. A lot nicer. Yeah, I like that actually. Yeah. There's another another customer car, you know. Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just pretty much cleaned it up and then the AOS gets an AN everything. And uh, you know, like I said, no no uh, expansion tank either. Yeah, yeah. Delete that, have more room for the inlet. And I just literally Yeah, right? that'd be dope actually. Yeah. I like that. I never and, realized and that. And then if you ever gotta take the math pulled off, just take the pens out. Right out. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's the turbo lag? On this one, super lagging. Yeah. Super lagging. I don't get full boost until 4700 RPM. Oh shit. <laughs> Cause that's what I was worried about with mine, but then I hit up uh, Bad Subi. Uh huh. You know him? Yeah. Bye -bye. He's like, no, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like, yeah. This one, this turbo, I love this turbo because it comes in super quick. Uh -huh. And then you got like the whole power band, like yeah, all the way to the right. all the way to red line. For this one, I would need to get. Well, I already have another motor in, in there. For this, um, but for this one, it'll be like from 47 to like 8K. Oh so. shit! Damn. <laughs> I also think I made this comment before, but the rears were tucking just a little bit, and Hector actually took care of that as well. So he raised the rears just a little bit. But my car, at some point, previous owner, I'm not sure, it wasn't an accident because this wide body part has always been off. This whole side has always been off. And it looks like this side has a little bit more camber. That's the only thing that looks funny, but you really got to stare at it. But it looks good overall. And no more rubbing. Shout out to Hector for the stickers too. Yeah. I thought the car sounded smooth when we first put the motor back in. Driving it out of his driveway, it sounds so different and it feels a little bit different too. We have a three hour drive back home, so we should probably get going. So crazy how different it feels. I don't know if you guys can hear that but it's just different no rev hang no check engine light I'm so hyped it's so funny though every time I push the clutch in I'm paranoid that it's gonna turn off on me and it doesn't so it feels weird we just made it back home and the car drove amazing no issues at all it feels so smooth it sounds different too and check it out we just hit a thousand miles on the break-in which means we can officially get tuned now. I thought we had to wait till the 3,000 miles were up, but I looked on IAG's website and they said that after 1,000 miles, you can actually get tuned, which is why I booked an appointment for next week. So it's all booked. We're getting tuned next week, guys. Which also means that after next week, we can potentially do the first pull. I kinda wanna aim low on the numbers that I think we're gonna hit because I feel like if I aim too high, I'm just gonna be disappointed. I'm also not an E85, so I know we're not gonna be too high up there. Hector was saying right around 350, 360, so we'll see. But again, huge thank you to Hector for taking care of all of the issues. I can't believe everything is literally perfect on this car now. No check engine lights, no issues whatsoever. We drove the car three hours, no problem. You guys are in need of any type of work, whether it's engine, suspension, he literally does it all. I'm gonna put his Instagram up on the screen right here. Hit him up guys if you need anything done to your car. He's located in Modesto, California. One more thing before we end today's video. I'm actually so excited for this piece because if you guys remember, I was keeping my access port in the cup holder and it would just fall out. You couldn't really see it from the driver's side. I hit up my boy Joe. He also has an M Sport wide body, but he 3D prints and he makes all sorts of cool things. And one of those cool things is this access port mount. So I already fed the cable through, but just like that, clips in super easy. And then you just slide the back of the access port onto those little tabs. Now I can actually see everything because you couldn't really see everything from this side, but now I can, I can read everything from here. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up for me. And the next time you guys see this car, it will hopefully be 100% tuned. Peace out.